Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. Do you need to show percentages in a pivot table, but you're not sure which options to choose? Stay tuned as I'll be demonstrating and explaining all those pivot table percentage options. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. Here's a small set of employee data. There are 20 employees and we need to show various splits across location and department. On sheet two, I've created three identical pivot tables. Each pivot table contains three columns. The first column contains the country names. I dragged location to rows. The second column shows the number of employees per country. And the third column also shows the number of employees per country. To get the count, I dragged employee ID to values. Because the employee ID column contains text values in the data source, it defaulted to account. Why did I drag it in twice? Because I want to convert the second occurrence to a percentage. So let's start with a simple example. For each country, I want to show the number of employees as a percentage of the grand total. So I click enter any cell in column C as long as it's in the pivot table, right click, select show values as, and choose percent of grand total. So this shows, for example, that out of 20 employees, 25% of them are based in France, 20% are in Germany, and so on. I can reformat column C to show no decimal places if I wanted to. Now I can achieve the same thing using percent of column total. That's because the numbers are in a column. So if I right click on one of the cells in column G and choose show values as and choose percent of column total, you can see we get exactly the same value. On that right click menu under show values as, there's an option percent of. What that does is it allows you to choose one of the items in the first column of the pivot table as a base item. For example, suppose I want to use UK as a base item to measure all the other countries against. So I select UK and click OK. So what's this actually showing me? Well, it's showing me that the number of employees in Spain is 75% of the number of employees in the UK. Or to put it another way, the UK has 25% more employees than Spain. But the UK has 25% fewer employees than France does. Another option is percent of row total. Now, this isn't used as often as percent of column total, mainly because pivot tables tend to be structured in columns. However, let me show you how it works. So I'll go back to my source data and just create a pivot table, which I'm going to stick in sheet three, A3. I'll drag location into column and I'll drag employee ID twice into values. That way we get a count or a number of employees, uh, but the second occurrence I'm going to change to a percent. So I'll change the column headings. The first column heading I will change to count, and the second column heading I will change to percent. And that ripples through across all of the countries. Now, I don't really like the layout, so you'll notice that we've got the word values in the columns box. It added that. Whenever you have more than one item in the values section, it adds values into the columns section. So if I drag values from columns to rows, we get a totally different layout to the pivot table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the way that these numbers are displayed. So I'll right click on any of those numbers on row six. 
select show values as and percent of row total. And now we have exactly the same information that we had in this pivot table, but it's in a row structure left to right instead of a column structure top to bottom. Now let's have a look at those same options with a pivot table that has row and column headings. Here's three pivot tables that show the number of employees broken down by department and location. This time, instead of showing the number of employees and the percentage, I just want to show the percentage. So instead of having two entries in the values section, I've just got the one count of employee ID, which I've changed the heading of to headcount. In each case, I'll change this from number to percent. The pivot tables on the right in columns J through to P are there just so that we can check the numbers are correct. So what I'll do is I'll click into any of the cells with numbers in, in the first pivot table, right click, select show values as percent of grand total. So what is this showing? Well, let's start with the column totals. Each department total is displayed as a percentage of the overall total. There are three employees in finance and there are 20 employees in total. Three out of 20 expressed as a percentage is 15%. For the row totals, each country total is displayed as a percentage of the overall total. There are five employees in France, there are 20 employees in total, five out of 20 expressed as a percentage is 25%. For the individual values, each individual value is displayed as a percentage of the overall total. Let's take sales and France as an example. This displays as 10%. There are two people who work in sales who are based in France. Two out of 20 is 10%. I know you can see the figures. I'm just explaining what those figures are showing and how they're being calculated. So now let's look at another option on that right click menu, percent of column total. And I'll do this in another pivot table. So click into any cell in that pivot table, select show values as percent of column total. So we can see that there are four employees in IT, one's in France, one's in Germany, two's in Spain. Two out of four is 50%, one out of four is 25%. The grand total column displays each total as a percentage of the column total. Because it's the total column, it's the same as the percent of grand total. So for example, five out of 20 is 25%. Now I don't need to see the column totals because they're all showing as 100%. I can leave them there if I want to, but if I want to hide them, I'll go up to design and then select grand totals. And I only want to keep the totals on for the rows. So I'll choose on for rows only. Finally, let's have a look at percent of row total. So right click on any of the cells in the pivot table, select show values as percent of row total. This takes the row total and displays each item on that row as a percentage of the row total. So for Italy, we have a total of four. One out of four is 25%, two out of four is 50%. The grand total row displays each total as a percentage of the column total. Because it's the total row, it's the same as the percent for grand total. So, for example, 3 out of 20 is 15%. I don't need to see the row totals. So what I'll do there is go to design grand totals and keep it only on for columns. Now these pivot tables are a little more complex. They have two items in the rows section, department and location. So we can see the number of employees that are in each department. Within each department, that number is further broken down by country. Department is considered to be the parent, location is the child. 
Like the first demo I did, I've added the employee ID column to the values section twice. At the moment, both show the number of employees, but I'll change the second occurrence to show percentage. So for the first pivot table, I'll right click on any of the numbers and select show values as percent of grand total. Each value, whether a parent or child, represents the corresponding count value as a percentage of the grand total. So 3 for finance, a parent, is 15% of 20, the grand total. 2 for Spain, a child, is 10% of 20, the grand total. The next option I'll show you is percent of parent total. So I'll right click on one of the numbers, select show values as percent of parent total. Now this asks me to choose a base field and it gives me the option of location in department because those are the items in the rows section. For this example, I'll choose department because that's the parent and click OK. So this now shows each child as a percentage of its parent. In other words, France, Italy and UK, because those are ones and those add up to three, one as a percentage of three is 33%. Whereas if we look at sales down at the bottom, France has two employees, two out of four, four being the parent, is 50%. Now, if you want to hide the 100%, you go up to Design, you click on Subtotals, and you select Don't Show the Subtotals. The third example I'll show you is Percent of Parent Column Total. So right click, Show Values as Percent of Parent Column Total. That doesn't work because of the layout of the pivot table. The items would need to be in the column section, not the row section of the pivot table. So let's just undo that. But what will work is Percent of Parent Row Total. So right click, Show Values as Percent of Parent Row Total. So what this is showing me is that the parent rows display the percent of the grand total for the parent, department in this case. In other words, there are three employees in finance, three as a percentage of 20, which is the grand total, is 15%. The children rows show the percentage of the parent for each child. So again, for finance, for France, Italy and UK, there is one employee in each country, one out of three is 33%. Now there's two more percentages to show you, but I'll need to use different data. This data shows details of every sale from January to May for excellent ice cream. Let's look at the first pivot table first. Let's just scroll across a little bit. You'll notice that the three columns have got exactly the same information in. I've, all I've done is dragged total revenue in to the values section three times and then just changed the headings. This pivot table is all about showing differences. So instead of seeing the actual revenue for each month, what I want to see is the difference between a month and the previous month. So what I'll do is right click on any of the cells in column I and select show values as difference from. And in this case, I'll set the base item to previous and click OK. So what I'm now seeing in column I is not the actual revenue amounts, but I'm seeing the differences. Because I chose previous, it's showing me the difference between the revenue on this row and the revenue on the previous row. In other words, you can see that the revenue in February is 13,000, just over 13,000 less than the revenue in January. But what if I wanted to display that information as a percentage? I'll right click on one of the numbers in column J and select show values as percent difference from and change the base item to previous and click OK. 
So now we've got the same information in column I, but expressed as a percentage. In other words, in February, our revenue was 26% less than it was in January. The last example is a running total or a cumulative total, as it's often called. So again, in columns I and J for this second pivot table, I've got exactly the same information as I've got in column H. It's the revenue column that I've dragged in three times. So what I want to do now is I want to change column I to be a running total. So right click, show values as running total in and click OK. What that's done is it says for I16, we've got basically January's figure because that is the start of the year. For the next cell down, we've got January plus February. The next one down is January, February and March and so on. We don't actually need column I. I've only put column I in there in both pivot tables just to show you what the running total is and just to show you what the difference is. But for the purpose of this demo, because it's all about percentages, you don't actually need column I. It's just hopefully to help the percentages make more sense. So if I right click on one of the cells in column J and select show values as percent running total in. Now we've got the running totals as percentages. In other words, what this is showing us is that at the end of January, 24% of the total revenue have been generated. At the end of February, 42% of the total revenue have been generated and so on. So that's all the different percentage options available in pivot tables. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. My free weekly newsletter is packed with tips and tricks to help you become more productive in Excel. And you can sign up to that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.